Hi guys, we're the Only Girl Squared, and I'm Hannah. And I'm Rachel, and today we're reacting to our falls and fails. Hey guys, so today how it's going to work is we're going to be watching the videos of us falling off on our phone or on my phone and then we're going to be reacting to them and so you guys will have um, a little video in the corner of us riding so that you guys can have a look at it too. You're also going to hear us like, tell the details of what happened, what we were thinking when we were riding and how we, if we got hurt, I don't think we got hurt badly in any of the falls. But here's some little clips of us riding now and we'll explain everything behind the scenes, behind the full now. <gasps> so Rachel was riding Caitlin this day and it looked like they were doing a jumping exercise. So we were doing uh, bounce jumps when the jumps are really close together and, and you have to carry on um, cantering through it. There's and not enough time for it to put a stride in. And Caitlin isn't that good at it because she's a riding school pony and they don't get taught to do these things. So we were trying something different with her. And the first couple goes, it was fine. She kept on stopping a couple of times, but I'm and like walking over them, but at least we went over. This go, I was she was going really fast. So I thought, you know what? we're gonna be able to do it. Next thing you know, she stops right in front, like she goes on her tiptoes and, and I slide off. down her neck, like literally like a slip and slide when you go head first. I slid down her neck and then my legs like flew up in the air like a mermaid's tail <laughs> down onto the floor. Um, I didn't hurt myself that badly. I did hurt my tummy a bit, but I wasn't wearing a body protector, mm. which I should have been. Um, but it was perfectly fine. It was good. Yeah, it looked like you felt, when you felt it, like you bent your body like backwards, like, like doing a crab but like mm -hmm. frontwards so yeah it looks a bit painful i wasn't there watching it but one of our friends mum was video. oh was it mum yeah mum was oh, videoing mom at the end of the video she puts the phone down i was like <gasps> like but it wasn't that bad it was actually pretty mm -hmm. good of a fall i mean, i know. guess like any parent no one wants your child fall off but rachel she was all fine caitlin was fine I and I got back on her straight after you, and we did the thing. Over, did yeah, we, we did the exercise again straight after and, and we got a clear round. It was great because we did the, the bounce poles and then you have to go off into a different direction and then uh, jump a height and then come round and jump another and over. So a whole other course. Yeah, and she did everything right. So mm. it was just that mess up, but it didn't. I got back on. It was fine. Right, here's the next clip. Hope you enjoy. Forward. So in this clip, in this fall, I was riding Iris and for those of you that do know her, you'll know that she's quite a spooky pony and for those of you who don't know her, you got to keep your leg on. She doesn't really like jumping fillers so when we were doing this jump, she didn't particularly like the filler because we had three jumps along the long side so it was one cross pole filler then a cross pole. So we took it in turns jumping the cross pole first and then once we did that we came around like did that twice or something. Then we put up the filler and then what we were meant to do when we get like over the filler we do the next cross pole but we never actually got to the third cross pole because it took us so many tries trying to get over the filler she she just not look she didn't sorry she did not just she did <laughs> i'll save she hannah from didn't that like it Iris likes to spook at a lot of things, like any little thing on the ground she'll spook at, or the fence or anything. Something she... in the hedge, yeah, exactly. a banner on the fence. So the fact that Hannah could go over the first jump was amazing and I was um, I was the one filming and um, she, Hannah, she she was prepared to go over but then of course Iris, she just backs out at the last second. I really should have expected that. <laughs> and I mean, at least you didn't fall onto the jump. But Yeah, literally. I didn't even mean to hold onto the reins because I don't want her to like hold and like be dragged. I, I mean, the funny I thing just, is, like, miss the jump. The funny thing is, is because when we usually um, watch like horse fails on YouTube and things, Hannah's like, "Oh, don't hold on to the reins. It's dangerous for the horse, right?" Because it is. And then you don't actually know what you're doing in that situation. You just grab onto something that you can hold on. But it's so quick, literally. Yeah, like you just don't expect it. So she understands it firsthand now that it's just you can't control it. Yeah, I mean, in the end, we did get there. I mean, she just like stopped and went to like a little circle and then go over it. I mean, we like walked over it and she like did a little cat leap. Yeah. I mean, we'll put some clips in now. Left right, left right, left right, left right, left right. Iris. Yeah, right, right. Hit 
He can do it. But yeah, I was all okay. I think I just like bruised my side or something. But I was all okay. Iris was all Iris was all okay. Like, and it's not you got back on before. and yeah. you did it. So, by the way, for any younger viewers here, don't be scared of us. Like anything, all our stories. We're not trying to put you put off. We're not trying to put you off horse riding. Horse riding. You're gonna it comes, fall. It comes with dangerous territory. You're riding an animal. These animals have a mind of their own. They're one of the smartest animals in the world. Okay, and you are building a connection with these animals and of course you're going to fall off at some point but it's like it's it like bumps in it's a road happen. like in your future ahead it's never going to be a perfect life so you falling off it's it doesn't matter because it builds you and makes you who you are today all because that matters is that you get back on and you <laughs> give it a go even if you like hurt yourself still get on maybe you don't do like a full like i don't know a meter course because if you don't but... get back on you're gonna be scared and you're not gonna move anywhere like me in my previous experiences when i had a big accident and things i managed to get back on mm -hmm. and i was fine because if i didn't i wouldn't be here today doing youtube videos for you guys or riding courses doing competitions i wouldn't be here today and what would i be doing on a weekend i would be doing nothing yeah I'm, you like, know people some of our friends or like people from school they sleep into like two o'clock what a waste of a day. I'm sorry to them, but what a waste because you can be doing so much from other stuff. Like, look at us. We're helping. We're entertaining you. We want to earn a bit of money one day so we could uh, buy a horse, not have to worry, not have to rely on mum and dad all the time. And for those of you that don't know what happened to Rachel for her accident, what she's talking about, the big accident, she fell off and she got a concussion, but she's all okay. She just I'm fine. a few days off school. Well, it was great, Hat. She had a few days off school. I don't recommend it, though. Um... Uh, I'll go into the story a bit later on in the video after we've watched the actual videos because of course we didn't get it on camera but it was, it was one of the biggest accidents I've ever had and it, it was serious because any fall off is serious but that one was more serious in that case because we were in an open field yeah and it wasn't in the yard or anything where there was mm -hmm. a, a nurses or anything like that nurses yeah because some paramedics of them... or like train <laughs> yeah so yeah we were on a hack anyways and we were just sitting in the open field, we had to wait three hours for an ambulance, but don't worry about that now, we're going to get into that later. So here is the next clip, and that is of Rachel falling off Caitlin again. Caitlin, Caitlin. the most swift fall off ever. So I here's mean. the clip now. So in this video, I got back on, as I said, and I was going over, but I don't think, I think I was shaken from the first one, even though it was a swift land off. I just, it was, it's shakeable when you like fall off. You just don't feel, shakeable. Shakeable. you don't feel as comfortable. Um, but so I, you know, like your instructors will usually tell you go all out for it. You can't, like, leg on. you can't think about backing out because your horse will back out. And I think at that time I was, I was thinking about backing out and I didn't want to do it. So I went round and um, yeah, it, it wasn't that great. I um, ended up, uh, she stopped at it because I wasn't giving enough leg and I fell onto the jump, but my, my body protector took all of it. So I didn't actually feel a thing. I managed to walk off, but I pulled her bridle off. I don't know how that happens. Like you and pull the straps up, how does that happen? Exactly. And I, 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 it, the bridle didn't break, so it was fine, but I was trying to catch her because she kept on running around, um, cantering around the arena and, and trotting. Oh, so I was yeah, trying to- going to her oh, friends. They tell you to walk up behind a horse, but I oh, was- Behind? Oh, well, on the near side. On the near side. the left side. Um, but yeah, because all the ponies were down at the other end while the jumps were on the long side and so she, Caitlin just went to all the ponies and Caitlin's, she's a bit grumpy so she, like, she's not got many friends. In the she's fine when it comes to riding but when it comes to like tacking up she's not that great. Yeah, I mean, we like last weekend, we, I don't think we were doing a video on this but we went on a hack and we spent 40 minutes in the field trying to get Caitlin because she was not having any of it. Because every time you went to go put the head collar on her. She was like so close to the field, um, to the field's edge, by the way. Like on the fence, basically. Yeah. Right and um, 
she, every time you try to put her head collar around her, she just threw her butt so fast round at you that you had to run out of that They gave situation. me a threat, literally, when she did that. Mm -hmm. And we were there, like, oh my, we called our minutes. twice. She Because we forgot treats. I had treats in one coat, and I was like, oh, I've got treats. The wrong coat, because I had my high vis coat on. So, <laughs> yeah, so Rachel, again, as we keep saying, she's okay. None of these floors are actually like, seriously dangerous, like, we get hurt. I mean, all the ponies, all that, all okay, and all these clips. So here's the next clip, and that's of me jumping Chesney. Ooh. <laughs> so here I fell onto the jump wing, which is metal. Yay! I mean, and there's a wooden pole. We were doing jump, well, it's bounces, and then the same exercise like, same that exercise. I was doing. Well, I went arrow first, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> For the bounces. I don't know what to say, really. The easy way to put it is Chesney does not like bounces. Hmm. I mean, I've done lessons since where we've done bounces, and he's been fine. I think it was just that day, or I was a bit nervous. So I felt quite confident at the start, but when he started refusing, I'm like, no. Because whenever I uh, ride a horse and they refuse, that's my confidence gone. It's really bad because I start off strong and then when they refuse, I'm all nervous and then they keep refusing. So I think that's something I need to work on. But same as Rachel, I like flat work. I prefer it. I mean, it's good to do jumping, like I have a range of skills. But that day, no, he kept refusing. I went over the front. Was there a protector in that? No. No, I didn't say. So. so yeah, we got we have body protectors now, as you guys know. And Back every time we, we jump, we wear them now. Mm -hmm. I was all okay. I think I was just like a bit bruised again. Yeah. But chairs, we just took the bouncers out because. I was nervous then, and we just the rest of the course, and the lesson went smoothly, mostly. We struggled a bit with the skinnies, although he's a small pony to it, I don't know why we struggled. Okay, well, now we're going to, um, I'm going to pop the phone down, because those are all the videos that we had on film, and now I'm going to talk to you about my accident. serious accident. Hannah and I and a couple of friends from school went um, on a hack with our instructor Sophie, and I was riding Caitlin, and... Um, Hannah, you were riding this horse, Lily, and I um, she's a pretty small horse. Spooky little pony. Yeah, and um, she's not here anymore, though. Yeah, um, and we were going out on a hack, and uh, just the normal route, you know, so we were about to canter in a field. Um, by the way, what I'm saying now is um, what I can't remember. This is what I'm going off what other people told me by my instructor, by the people that were there, because me getting knocked out, it like, took away part of my memory that I can't remember. So we were going through this river and um, we came out and we were waiting and Sophie uh, was getting on and this is all I can remember her she trying to get gate. back on. And then uh, based on what other people said, uh, we were about to go into a uh, canter in the next field and go gallop. And Sophie canter. in canter. And um, Sophie told me to uh, told me that I say, "Can we go faster? I really want to go faster." <sighs> Which didn't sound like me at the time because at the time, then I was scared to canter in an open field. Were you? Yeah, I was. I was a really. I was really scared back then. I didn't know. Um. So I that is nothing. Sounds like nothing like me. And we were cantering uh, through the field, and there was a tractor in the neighbouring field, and Caitlin spooked at that tractor. But it was quite hot. Like ahead of us because it's a huge field and there's like a hit like the field on uh, like a slope with all like the farming crops and all that mm -hmm. and um uh, i don't know how she threw me or things or bucked me off or reared me i don't know mm -hmm. um but i ended up falling off and i was knocked out on the ground i was just yeah. lying there like the pony behind her she like swerved and then i was in the lily the little palomino which she's in the old intro of her like the pony rolling that's her We've got a new intro now, so if you like that, because that's for the new year, so you've got a new intro. And so, yeah, I was in Lily, she spooked as well, because like none of us were expecting it. And then I just thought, oh, I'll just go that way. We went to, we both wanted to go a different ways, so it was like, kind of fell off. Not perfectly, but like. Well, it sounded like she jumped off in the canter trying to get off. <laughs> um, And so, this is what other people said that Hannah came running up to me and she took my helmet off. Now, Hannah didn't know because nothing serious happened, but you shouldn't take the helmet off when you're in a field because you could have broken something or skull, anywhere or anywhere because you could become paralysed. Like, that could know. be like keeping it all together because like I thought it's quite sad, but from movies like you know when someone faints, like you like, like pat them like, to wake them up because I didn't realise she had like a concussion because I didn't actually knew I didn't know what a concussion was, so mm -hmm. I was like oh, I'll take the helmet off like pop it on your head like on the your knee. 
I didn't really like, she could have been paralyzed for all I knew. And I yeah. was like, damn it, thank goodness I wasn't. So they took uh, Hannah took the helmet off, she's making sure okay, I, I was okay. I couldn't I wasn't waking up, obviously. But she did eventually. She kept asking the same questions. What time is it? What day is it? I can't where remember that. Time? That's the weird is thing. Is that I the only memory I have of waking up is waking up to throw up twice. Oh that's and that lovely, was it. Rachel. I'm sure everyone wants to hear about that. <laughs> so one of the instructors there, she came and um in her car and she was making sure I was okay. She checked my helmet as well. Once you fall off you should really be getting rid of your helmet because it can have a cracked lining well unless it, like, you get an instructor like to test it yeah they're quite expensive because mm -hmm. not just every time you fall off get a new one because who's got no, that money depends you know? if it breaks if um the the inside of it and what it whatever you can't always it see it yeah so you have to get so someone make to sure check that's checked you. yeah um so she was checking and uh, it was all good. This other lady who works there she came and she her was daughter, sitting by me it? yeah because yeah, we were in the field uh, the daughter and me, she was like 18 or something, and we were there for like three hours waiting for the ambulance. And then her mum came, and then she took me back to the yard because, like, it was we had to go drive through fields to get back. And then she brought our dad here because we had to stay, we wanted to stay half an hour later than the hack so we could take the horses out. And so we didn't have our phones, and that we didn't bring them horse riding. And, and we didn't know our parents' numbers either. Yeah, that was a mistake. We know, I know I know mum's number. I need mm. to know dad's number. But yeah, so they looked on Facebook trying to get the page, but you have to be friends with her to get the number. So we just had to wait for dad to come and then they got driven over. The, we had to call the ambulance. Um, so the reason why the ambulance took so long is because it was in a field where there wasn't access from two points. You had to get access from someone's permission and things. Not permission. It's or, just like in the middle of nowhere, really, between yeah. fields. So... I, what I remember waking up to is um, uh, looking to my side and you know how they put the, those like clamps on your fingers to measure your heart rate and things? Heart rate? Blood pressure, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I thought, was it your arm? But oh, there's know. a little clamp that they put on and I remember waking up, looking to my side and seeing that and then they were about to put a neck brace on me. Because she was um, Yeah, so they, they have to take as much precaution as possible because any little thing can, even if you, if you, you can further your uh, be further you being paralyzed luckily i wasn't and yeah. i just sat up and i threw up and so i lay back down and i was out cold again yeah. and that day i tried to um i wore my brand new coat and they had to cut it open and that's so, from america which is like yeah so top. my galveston island top when i went in 2018 to go see my family in america in america right and we went i got a t-shirt it's like one of the souvenirs that i have there and then they ended up cutting it down to like here yeah, so that they, they can... asked if it was like oh is this valuable and they were like no it's not valuable but it's really it's, it's, loved it's it. precious it's a memorable thing so they cut it open which i was so disappointed at the end you know it's one oh, of my favorite well. t-shirts and now you still have it i think mum has it somewhere mm -hmm. i went to the hospital in the ambulance and um of course it was covid so they put face mask on me and um, I was really beaten up, but, like beaten up by who? I, I felt really drowsy. And usually hospital waits they like because I was in the A and E for like five hours or a couple hours. And usually hospital waits take Not five hours. forever. It it felt like two minutes. And I remember waking up and um, I had to go get a CT scan to make sure there was no brain bleeds or anything gone wrong there. Um, and I remember sitting, getting put and lifted onto the thing, but I don't remember anything further. And um, strangely enough, my doctor, he recently bought his daughter a horse and he was telling me good places to buy horses on the island. I can't remember any of them because I was really drowsy after being knocked out and with the concussion. So uh, it wasn't really useful, but it, it, it's just crazy how like the whole community, there's a lot of horse people in the community, you know? So then I was off school for a couple of days, I was off three days because my sight wasn't that great. I couldn't see. And then I finally got better and I was I was good. So yeah, that is the end of the Richard's little story about her falling off. She's all okay now. Perfectly fine as you can see. Alive, breathing. Well, we've got some horse riding this afternoon, so we're going to do that. Horse riding tomorrow as well for the hack. And so yeah, we hope you enjoyed the video. Remember once again, this video, don't be put off by riding. Horses are the best one of the most amazing animals out there. And dogs, of course. Um, don't be put off, you're going to fall off is inevitable it's going to happen don't be put off get back on try your hardest and remember animals they've got their own living things too so you've got to build a bond with them and just be confident so thank you guys so much for watching the video it was a bit of a different video being at home reacting to the videos so hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe down below see you next time bye bye